Hello my friends, it is Crystal and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an exciting one as it is my very first Christmas decorate with me for 2023 in our new home and I am so excited to share it with you. So as always, I like to start in our bedroom and go from there. The space itself just seems a little bit less overwhelming than tackling some of our larger rooms. So it's always tradition to start in a bedroom and I am so happy with the final result. Can't wait for you to see it. But my whole goal of this room is to really just make it a cozy Christmas retreat somewhere where we can come after a full day's worth of work and just really relax and enjoy this Christmas season. So I showed you the before of the blank slate. All the decor has been taken out. I'm just stripping the bed so I can put everything into the wash. Now I'm going to, of course, put on some Christmas music. There's always some fun, cozy scenes on YouTube that really just bring the spirit into the room as I'm decorating. So because this is a new room, I'm just brainstorming right now where the Christmas tree should go. Initially, I thought in front of the window, but we just do not want to block the view. And this corner where the mirror is seems to be the perfect spot. So I'm just going to move this out of the way in preparation for the Christmas tree that will be coming into the room here today as well. So our bedroom is all prepped now, ready to decorate. And I always like to start with the bed. I want to just put on a fresh set of sheets and my Christmas bedding and really just build my decor off of that since it's a new space. Really not sure which direction at this point I'm going. So we're going to start with a bed. Now where we live in the Midwest, it gets extremely cold during the winter, below zero temps, so I always like to put flannel sheets on our bed. They're just so soft and cozy and warm and amazing. These ones are just basic white ones. I bought these last year, I think, from Home Goods. Very simple sheets that will just carry us through the entire winter. I thought about doing Christmas ones, but I really don't think that we need it. And you'll see here as I add the rest of the bedding. So this comforter set is a Sherpa super soft set that I picked up on clearance from Target a few years ago and it has become like my favorite bedding ever. The Sherpa, it is just amazingly soft and warm. I'm all about the textures of the bedroom. So unfortunately this set is not available anymore but there are different patterns year after year. I will try to link this year's version of it along with anything else that I can from today's video but as you can see the bedding is more of that red and cream color so that's really going to set my color scheme for the rest of the Christmas decor that I'm going to be adding to the room. So I'm going to come back to the bed here in just a little bit and we'll accessorize and add more decor, but I just could not wait to put up the Christmas tree in the room and just have it feel extra cozy as I continued with my decorating. So this tree is an eight foot King of Christmas, King Noble pre-lit tree. This was new to us last year. It was actually our uh, Christmas tree we had at our cozy Christmas cabin. I'll link that home tour if you haven't seen it um, yet. But last year we were in between homes just renting this cabin on the lake for a few months and this was our tree that we used.
this Christmas tree is meant to look a little sparse, but I can't help fluffing it just a little bit. And of course, some of the branches were bent from uh, storage over the past year and moving and all of that. So just taking a little bit of time. I'm wearing the gloves that come with the tree to protect my arms and my shirt as well. Um, yeah, I've learned over the years that these are a really good thing to have when you're fluffing your tree. I think why I was so excited to put up our Christmas tree is because we've never had a full size one in our bedroom before. And I've decorated our bedroom for many years now and shared it all on my channel. It started as one year, I just had some leftover Christmas decor. Our whole house was decorated and I decided to just add a couple of pillows to the bed and a couple of decorations on our dresser and it's really grown over the years to become one of my most favorite places to decorate. Let me know in the comments below if you decorate your bedroom. Uh, like I said, it just kind of started small and I've built on it over the years. So now the tree is all set up. I've just added this chunky blanket that I had on hand and using that as a tree skirt instead of going out and buying one or finding a collar. That was just the most affordable way to cover the base of the tree and I think it worked out just fine. But now I'm just going to start decorating. I had these wooden beaded garlands from a couple of years ago. I think they're hearth in hand. I don't believe they're still available, but the colors matched perfectly with my bedding. So I'm going to play around with these and add them to the tree. tree while my sister and me are writing verses and rhymes soon they will be here same as every year everyone wants home for Christmas no loving these red flocked ornaments with the velvet ribbon on this tree. So, so pretty. Both of those came from Michael's and it's just the pop of color that I wanted for this corner. Now I'm just kind of rolling with things as I'm decorating and as I was doing this, there were these ornaments that I couldn't stop thinking about at Hobby Lobby that I thought would just pair so nicely with it. Going for more of a simple look to this tree, but I also want it to look decorated. So I did have to make a trip here in a little bit. So we will come back to this Christmas tree, but move on with decorating the rest of the room. My apologies for jumping all around the room, but this is my complete decorating process. So 
bringing you along for the journey. So let's go back to the bed now. So above our headboard, I am hanging this North Pole bed and breakfast sign. I actually made this on my own a couple of years ago when we were living at our old house hung it up over our bed and just loved it. So I knew I wanted to do the same thing to this bedroom as well. Just love it. And then to our headboard, I'm going to add some garland. Now this garland I think is a couple of years old from Target, maybe three years. They might still have it. I should be able to link it down below, but just going to use two strands of garland. And I did put a couple of command hooks on the top just as an insurance policy so nothing falls on us while we're sleeping. Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Merry Christmas, honey. Yeah. The snowman's dusting off his hat. I'm just going to elevate the garland with some lights. These are just battery operated ones that are on a timer so they will just automatically come on at night for us and they'll turn off. So anyways, make sure though you stay until the very end of this video because not only will I share with you what our room looks like during the day but I also want you to see what it looks like at night. It's just so, so cozy. So adding little pops of lighting around the room is a must for me when decorating in a bedroom. Merry Christmas, baby. The snow is laying two feet deep. Now wish upon a falling star so all your secret dreams can come true. There's something that happens when sleigh bells are ringing when December is when the children are singing. Yeah. All of the accent pillows that I added to the bed are ones I've had for a few years now, but it is tradition to always have my joy pillow on the bed, and this year is no different. And then to the end of the bed, I'm just going to add this throw blanket that I bought last year from Aldi. It's so soft and warm. Merry Christmas, baby. To our accent chairs, I'm adding these in stripe pillows that came from Hobby Lobby a few years ago. They're some of my favorites. I just really like how they remind me of a candy cane. And of course, just that light pop of color. And then I also picked up this new pillow this year. It's a snowflake one from Target. It matches the others on my bed. It kind of coordinates really well. So I knew I needed to add that in. It is the next day now. I was able to quickly stop at Hobby Lobby and find the ornaments that I had in mind. I really like them because they are cream. I just don't have any of those in my decor. So I was happy to pick those up. And then I also picked up a pre-made velvet bow to use as my tree topper. 
So now I'm just going to place them around the tree. At first I was really bummed I couldn't find the cream flocked ornaments that everyone else was picking up, but I actually think these ones are better because they add just another element to the tree. It's a different texture and of course there's a little bit of sparkle to them so they really shine at night. Underneath our tree, I'm going to finish things off by adding these pre-lit little presents. I think they're so cute. These ones were from Kirkland's. I don't know if they still sell them anymore, but again, just adding that extra little glow to the room. But while I finish up our simple Christmas tree, I just wanted to take a minute and say thank you so much for joining me for today's video. I'm so glad to have you. I am Christmas obsessed, which we all know and cannot wait to share even more Christmas decorating videos coming up. So if you're enjoying today's video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you aren't already subscribed, definitely would love to have you. As I was shifting things around, I decided to move the mirror to the other wall in our bedroom. Initially, I wasn't quite sure, but once I set it up, I just loved the reflection at all angles of the room, whether it's the tree or the bed, it just really added I don't know, something extra to the room. So I'm doing that and I'm just putting a command hook on the back of it so I can hang this swag up above it. So just something very simple, but a festive touch to it. some small pops of Christmas cheer to either of our nightstands. Now on mine, I decided to grab this little bowl with the red stripe and add some of my random trees that I had. I don't know, it's something fun and different and love how it turned out. Snow.
rather than a tray to our bed, I'm going to finish off our room adding a throw blanket and tray with a candle to the ottomans at the end of our bed. Okay, my friends, here is a quick reminder of what our bedroom looked like before and a look at our cozy Christmas retreat. I am so excited to enjoy our holiday season in this room and I hope you enjoyed following me along on the process. Just wanted to say thank you so much for joining me for today's video and I will see you very soon for another Christmas decorate with me. Merry Christmas.